Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your... Sorry, I was drinking water. <laughs> we're, we're doing your reading. Um, I hope you are already... You catch up already what's the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have explained it in the past reading. Which one you should watch so that we can just proceed with the reading, okay? But just a reminder, it's Vedic Sidereal Astrology in this town, okay? Also, if I do see... You haven't gotten any time prediction. If we do see a Wheel of Fortune, I do transit prediction. Um, in the extended, okay. So it's based on um, charts in astrology and the planets, and then together with the tarot, just to give you guys a heads up. Okay? But you have to get it. If you don't, there's no time prediction. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you guys. If you feel that this is rush, it's not. Okay. I just had a lot of caffeine. <laughs> so, that's it. Okay. Here we go. Gemini. Um, Gemini is your first card. I just dropped the mic over here. First card strongest. Who cares about the Wheel of Fortune when you get your your own card in the first draw? 78 cards in tarot. We get the Gemini card. What is going on in the Gemini? A lot of things. The sun will move. By this time, uh, you're watching this, the sun has already shifted. Now that's how you call astrology. Dang! Because it shifts on the 16. Yep. Let me just go. Yep. I'm not going to waste your time, okay, but I know it just shifted. So, here we go, Gemini, okay. This is your time to shine. Now, how does the sun work? Everybody feels like, oh, it's my birthday, my, my solar return, going to be amazing. Remember, <laughs> the sun is a malefic. It is, yes, our soul. It is also at, at you know, natural at Maharka, the highest degree normally, of course, as a sun. Um, however, it is a malefic where it has to bring to surface the nastiness. And then you can, okay, have a new beginning in life. That's why you get a recharge. Every time the sun shifts from a zodiac to another zodiac, there is an hour and a half in the morning, an hour and something, Sankrati. It is the most auspicious time for you to reconnect again with yourself, to heal. The sun is healing, okay, because it's about to bring to surface um, stuff that you have been avoiding. That's why sometimes birthdays, like, you thought it's going to be so amazing. It is. But the energy in the next 30 days is not. Like, oh my god, like, why does it happen to me? You know, it's, it's my birthday. The sun is helping you to be enlightened. Okay? So, next to the lover's card. Of course, as far as, like, the lovers, you know, whoever you're connecting with has a strong soul tie with you. Okay? Ten of coins! Gemini, you haven't gotten this. So, let's call this for you guys. As I always call for the Libra, pentacles, pentacles. Pentacles, okay. It's one thing to get love, but it's another thing when you have the abundance, okay. It's right here. Mm -hmm. Long-term relationship. Embrace it. It's yours. Okay. I always like that movie from, <laughs> um, what's it called? Brad Pitt, and then, you know, it's, it's, he was giving, uh, I forgot, um, you know, he was, I forgot, but he was, he, he was this, um, demigod and then he's giving i forgot what he was conquering embrace you know it's yours something like that so embrace this this is yours okay this is the sun beaming in you right now okay let's see here long-term relationship can be of course this is the house of scorpio for me because this is legacy also let me see here you got here hermit card okay virgo energy you remember the Hermit for me goes the mountain and then wishes in the star. Gemini card comes out for the soulmate to come to come down in flesh. So whoever this person is, they're not just a spirit. They have a body. Okay? So congratulations. Okay? Um, someone has been looking for you. They have healed themselves or you have healed already. Now the six of, uh, the Hermit card is, a, you know, it's a Virgo Gemini card also. is It can be a natural healer. Um, you know, it can be a person who who is drawn to spirituality. Very grounded, the Hermit card. Does not resonate much with material. But this is a person who, even though they don't like material wealth, they get material wealth. You understand me? There you go. But they understand what is a soulful connection. I like this person for you, Gemini. Just right now here. Mm-hmm. 
and happy birthday to you. Okay, here we go. Next to the Hermit card. You got a Queen of Cups. Okay, selfless, loving nature. Okay, Queen of Cups gives you that, um, you know, it's like, hey, are you okay? Hey, are you doing okay? You know, has a concern for your benefit over here. If you're gonna not, if you're not gonna date this Gemini, I'll date this. Not kidding. Happily taken. Okay, so thank you. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Next in the Queen of Cups. Okay, just saying. Any takers, Gemini? Any takers? Going once, going twice. You have the World card. Hmm. Long distance relationship. Fixed sign. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Now, the world card is about graduation. Okay, it can be a student. You're graduating, they're graduating. It can be a person also who's finishing, accomplishing a task. Because these are all the houses, okay? All different zodiacs, right? From first house to the 12th house, this person or you have gone through. This is also showing a person can have their soul, uh, their, uh, what do you call it? Saturn return, okay? Meaning in your 28 to 30-ish, okay? So this is that one. Okay, so it, it can be this year time. This is your uh, um, Saturn return also. Now, what's good about this person is um, they're ready. The world card is someone is prepared to start a relationship. Okay, next to the world card. You got six of coins. Giving and receiving, knowing what it takes to be in a balanced relationship. As above, so below with the, with the, um, how do call it, with the six of pentacles because this is my minor kind of for the uh, Libra card. So it manifests already. So this is a very tangible energy. You will see them take action. You will see them take you on a date. This is, this is very good. Because they materialize. Not like, oh, they just say they're going to go out. No, and then nothing. They have all intention not to be single anymore. The Hermit card is lonely. That's one thing also. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. Happy birthday to you, Gemini. And embrace this energy of being blessed, you know. Especially Saturn is here. Mm -hmm. We know that Saturn is in your seventh house, Gemini, right? In Sag. It has been putting a hold. It's in retrograde right now. It's been putting a hold on relationship. It's emphasizing at the same time, it's putting it in your face. Like, hey, Gemini, this is what it is in a relationship. What you need to learn. Stuff like that. And Kato is there. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. Hopefully there is a Wheel of Fortune. We'll see. Um, next to this is um, an invite for everybody who is interested in my upcoming, in August, uh, meetup in LA. Bye, guys. You can't change how the universe made you. People don't change. People can't change. The same way you can't change your destiny. You will be where you are meant to be and you will become who you are meant to become. But divination cards, crystals, and guided meditation coupled with understanding and acceptance of who you are will help you make your journey happy and fruitful. That's what all this is about, to help people get to where they want to be. A journey that is remarkable, after all, a destiny is where the sweet end lies. There is nothing that follows after that but your journey. That happens every day. In the end, that's what counts. Take, for example, an impatient person. You can never be patient. You can change how you respond to people who are testing your patience. But you cannot be patient by nature perfect example would be in an office. There is no getting away from people that whines or complains or criticize just for the sake of criticizing. There will always be gossips and people who can't seem to just mind their own business. This is when we tap to the energy of the universe and the energy of nature. These are things that we have been given. Pyrite is for calming down, rose quartz to fight aggression, hematite for the mind. The other thing to consider is that you can't always surround yourself with these crystals when you are working. That's why we make accessories. The energy stays with you all the time. e treat Love accessories are both to make us feel and look beautiful. 
crystals and accessories are also cleansed and charged. A rose quartz is a crystal of love. But love may be attached to so many other intentions. When I charge crystals, I amplify it with a specific intention. There are also many places in the U.S. or in the world, for that matter, that has a vortex or forces, but there are very few that have the purest of energy. My home prior to LA was Santa Fe, and it was that energy that made that final push for me to where I am right now in what I do. Tibet and the Philippines also have those energies. Meditation is almost a daily activity for me. While my body rests and recharges when I sleep, my soul recharges when I meditate. It is when I meditate that I truly see who I am and what is really in my soul. I encourage everyone to do the same. The fact is that nothing in this world can make your life better or can make you better unless you allow yourself to be better. And I am here as your guide, but nothing will work unless you allow it to work. So it starts with you. You may not be able to change your destiny. You may not be able to change who you are, but you can always control your journey.